Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the safe use of a cloth face covering. Uh, and this is something for you to use when you're interacting with others who are not members of your household. And you can use it in both public, you ought to be using it in both public and private spaces. Uh, it's important that the face covering be made out of cloth so that it's easy to breathe through. Uh, and cotton is a good fabric to use. Um, and I want to show you uh, a few things about uh, what we're recommending. So before you put on your cloth covering for your face, you need to either wash your hands, and I can't wash them now, but or sanitize them. Uh, then when you put on your face covering, you need to make sure that it's going to cover your nose fully and your mouth. When you get ready to take it off, you should, again, since you've been out and about, make sure that your hands are clean. If you have access to a place to wash your hands, that's great. If you don't, it's hand sanitized again. Take your face covering off. Try to make sure you fold it carefully with the ins without touching what was touching your face. And then it's best if you have a paper bag and you can actually put it in a paper bag. A paper bag breathes, but it also protects um, your face covering from collecting germs if you happen to like throw it on your car seat or dump it into your backpack or put it on a table that's not necessarily clean. So this would be the best you can do. And then when you're done and you've put it in your bag, before you go touch anything else, because you've now touched your face covering, you should sanitize again or wash your hands again. This is a lot, but if we uh, do this and then we launder uh, or wash our face coverings every day, uh, they will provide the protection we want to provide to others who are near to us, and they'll also keep us uh, from using face masks that may make us sick because we're not taking good care when we're using them. Uh, so a, a couple of reminders, uh, please discard a cloth face covering that no longer covers your nose or your mouth, that's stretched out or has damaged ties and straps, that doesn't stay on your face, and that has holes or tears in the fabric. Anyone who cannot remove a, face, a cloth face covering themselves, who is having trouble breathing or is unconscious, should never wear a cloth face covering. Children two and under should not wear cloth face coverings. And for children between the ages of three and eight, please make sure that there's an adult that's monitoring their safe use of a face covering. While cloth face coverings are useful in preventing the spread of COVID-19, they do not replace the powerful tools of staying home, physical distancing if you must be out of the home, and that means keeping six feet apart from others, and washing our hands frequently.